James, Dave Tippett has been moving guys around trying to find balance. Now you guys have had three games together as a line with Chase on and uh, JJ. What does Alex Chase on bring to that line? What makes him so effective? Uh, well, I think all three of us, we, we uh, working together pretty good. Uh, you know, Chase is obviously a guy who shoots the puck, um, you know, gets to the, gets to the front of the net and, uh, you know, does a good job of tipping pucks in there and, uh, you know, releasing pucks and, um, you know, getting, uh, getting it to us. So I think, uh, you know, we've been pretty solid uh, the last three games. Uh, scored some big goals, logged some uh, solid time in the, uh, in the, uh, in the O-zone. And, um, yeah, hopefully continue to build on that. You've had playoff experience. In your experience, how important is it to have that big physical line as you grind out games down the stretch? Yeah, it is. I think um, games are just going to continue to get harder and harder as we go here, um, you know, as you can see that. But I think when you get into a playoff series, a seven-game series, it's uh, it's going to take a toll on you. And I think for us, we need to be a line that's in there being physical and, uh, um, you know, wearing down their, uh, their D-man and, and their forwards. And um, like I said, it's been three games. I like the way we're going so far, and we're going to continue to get better. Uh, we're good at talking out there. We're uh, we're learning each other uh, each day, and uh, uh, we're growing a bit. James, you're you're over here. Your coach says there's been a disconnect between your forwards and defensemen. Can you, you've played a long time in the league. How often have you heard that? Where you know your forwards are too far away from the defensemen, or are you just not all coming up the ice five at a time? Yeah, I think you hear that. I think you hear that when you're not when you're not playing. Um, playing together I think uh, you know teams are going to go through this every every team goes through this whether it's early in the season whether it's going into the playoffs middle of the year you're going to see maybe a little disconnect between whether it's your forwards are disconnected with your D or even your forwards are disconnected with each other I think uh, um, you know for us I think we got we have new pieces we've got a lot of change going on um, you know so everyone's kind of trying to dial in their role and find their find their role within our lineup and um, you know we're working on that and um, I think it's taken a few games here but I think we're starting to uh, starting to turn that um, but I think for us it's, as forwards and going over game tape and watching our games back uh, back the last few days I think for us we just need to get back and help our D out I think uh, you know when things are going right you're, you're, you're getting those opportunities you're getting up ice and then you start to cheat a little bit. So for us, we just need to slow our game down, get back. Um, you know, as a as a group of five, like you hear Tip say, and um, and work it out with each other. So uh, I think you'll you'll see that tomorrow. I think you'll see a better game out of us tomorrow. And one thing about your goaltender is, I guess it's fun to watch the goalies making all these great saves. But would you just like to have a game where they only get twenty shots and maybe only five tough ones? Yeah, I think they'd like that for sure. Um, I guess we're just getting them ready for playoffs here. So, uh, no, they're uh, they've been really good all year. So, uh, for us, we need to defend. We need to defend better. Um, giving up that amount of shots, um, uh, night in, night out, it's uh, a little unacceptable. I think uh, for us, we gotta we gotta be stronger in our D zone and and help those guys out. So, um, they've definitely bailed us out and, and got us points. And um, you know, we thank them for that. And uh, you know, we need to be a little bit better in front of them. James, since you've come back, uh, you know, you look like you had some good jump considering you had an ankle injury. Um, there were some rumblings. Did you play with a broken toe in uh, November and December? Did that impact your game at all? Um, yeah, I had a broke, uh, broken toe. Um, but I don't know. That's not really – I don't, wouldn't use that as an excuse or anything. I think I, I could still skate. I was, I was fine. Um, yeah, I felt like coming back, I felt uh, I did, did good work to get back uh, – from my ankle, it's all, I think ankles and feet are, you know, they're finicky and it's just sometimes tough to put them in your skate and, and, and feel good out there. But um, no excuses. I felt, I felt good. I, I felt good in the last few games. Um, I felt really good coming back in Dallas. Uh, uh, Chicago wasn't so good. And then the last few games have um, been, been pretty good. And, um, just got to continue to get better and ramp it up for, uh, uh, for a stretch here. So. Um, like I said, I think you know we've been moving our, moving around quite a bit, uh, line combinations and that. So we're 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 dialing that in, and 
Um, you know, with Chaser and, and JJ, we've been we've been uh, we've been okay. And um, like I said, we're just gonna get try to get better here as we go on. I was gonna ask uh, something similar because it, it does seem like you're moving around a little bit better. Does yeah. that? help how does it change your game if you're able to actually move the way you want and, and get to areas does it kind of help uh, set you up for maybe a little bit more offense yeah for sure I think uh you know when you feel good out there I think obviously it's noticeable um you know when you have your legs you get your jump back I think uh you know it was a process you know I hurt my ankle of second period in Calgary after the break there and uh you know, it was a, felt like forever coming back with 16 games or 17 games. So just try to do everything you can in the gym. Um, it's tough when you can't skate, but, uh, you know, when you can get on the ice, you can push as hard as you can and, and get ready. So um, I was confident in my um, in my preparation coming back to, to feel good. So uh, I've been through it lots of times. Um, sometimes you just got to take it and use it to your advantage and use the rest and now, you know, feel really really rest and, and feel good and have that jump. So uh, it'll definitely help me, you know, get to, this helps you get through areas, get to the net more, uh, all those, all those little things. So, uh, but uh, maybe gripping the stick a little bit too tight right now. I think you need to just to relax. You know, you want to score one so bad. So uh, we'll find one here. Good. Thanks. Guys.